Salutations Wet Shavers, Spencer here for another shave video. I'm going to be reviewing the soap that's been highly recommend, oh, highly requested by Fernando. So if you're watching this, finally got around to it, mate. It's the Synergy Soap by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for how to grow a moustache um, for, um, for it over there. Also going to be using fantastic Raven Brushworks Goblet shape in pear wood this thing looks absolutely insane grain on it's just beautiful and i figured out how to get rid of the flickering on the video i've reduced the frame rate from 60 down to 30 and that's that's kept up and now feels good been using what's recommended by douglas the paa cube pre-shave soap so i've already used this on my face and just washed it off and I'm going to apply it again just before the lather, just lightly against the grain. I'm not going to use as much as I did last time. I feel like that probably hindered the shave a little too much. I'm not really a pre-shave guy, as you would know. I don't normally use... Any pre-shave, I go straight into the water, straight into the face. Only recently, I've been doing a bit of hot towel stuff with some hot water. That's only because it's coming into winter and it's getting cold. Um, on that, I don't normally use it. So, not a pre-shave guy. And post-shave, I like to keep it as minimal as possible. One splash if I can. And lately, that's been Barbado. But today, I'll be able to use the matching splash. Um, an Orbilette. That, um, I looked that up and that means um, if I can exit through a trap door in the ceiling or something like that. Random. <laughs> Not sure if that has anything to do with the scent. And the scent is, once I tell you, it's a beautiful scent. It's really nice. Um, it's here somewhere. It's got like um, tobacco and oud in it, I'm pretty sure. Um, I love the shape of this tin, by the way. Six ounces of soap, so it's massive. It's really wide. I mean, look at a brush. This is a huge brush. Massive. This is a 28 millimeter knot. It won't even splay the whole brush. It's just huge. All right, let's get lathering. I've been really enjoying uh, Russell's method of lathering. So it's basically using a damp brush, paint on your face. Now the charcoal in this Activated charcoal will actually lather boost. Apparently. That's what it's made to do. And the glycerin is supposed to um, really moist, moisturize your face. So, back under the water. Light little flicks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. I'm gonna do eight seconds instead just because it's a 28 mil over a 24. I had recently used a PAA um, splash, the Big Shave East, and I got a quite a burning reaction with that um, splash. It was a bit of a pain. I'm just really hoping that's not gonna stay the case with this one as well. I uh, reckon I could have stayed with the uh, six seconds, I reckon. Six second load. It's a lot and a lot of leather. It's quite thick too, this. Gonna need a uh, big razor to cut through that. And uh, I think I've provided the goods with the Hone Type 15. All brass razor. This thing is real heavy. It's got a... Supermax blue diamond in it. Absolutely ecstatic to use this and um, See how we go first pass Feeling good so far I 
I sort of feel like the soap does almost like harden on my face so it actually doesn't make the first pass any slicker in fact I feel like it almost does the opposite but when I rinse the fat and my face when I rinse my face off um, when I rinse the soap off I feel like it leaves a better post shave feel so in that sense I can see that but then that sort of, to me defeats the purpose because it's a pre-shave soap and if it's moisturizing the face ah, I don't know because I have my own post-shave routine so I don't really feel like I need anything else to add to it so it is probably one of the most subjective sort of sides about this whole thing is pre-shave prep absolutely awesome the super max feels really good on this on this razor Not the most manoeuvrable razor, but bloody hell, it looks wicked, doesn't it? Really long handle, so if you guys don't like long handled razors, don't even think about this razor because it's, it's about as long as a Parker 99R. Alright, now this is probably like the main bit. I can actually feel that pre-shave soap is when I'm rinsing the face. So then after that, it's all gone. You put soap back on it and, you know. See, if I was a one-pass shaver, you wouldn't need any post-shave because my face is super slick right now. Feels real hydrated, but by the end of the shave, after the three passes, the razor knocks off all of that, so. It does produce a nice looking leather though. Decent performance from Russell's stuff. <laughs> Did I say Russell? Douglas. Because I was almost about to compare them, that's all. Douglas's um, soaps in comparison to Russell's, they blow up in the same fashion. They both really, really like their water. Russell's probably a little bit more so. But... Russell's slickness on his soaps is something about him that just really, really just takes it onto that next level, in my opinion. I'm not sure about you guys. Feel free to comment below, discuss if you agree, disagree with me. It's absolutely fine. I've tried both soap makers' soaps enough to be able to come up with my own decision. And if you disagree, don't just say I'm, I'm wrong because it's just my opinion, that's all. Feels awesome though. I'd love to get the titanium of this razor, but just so expensive. These Supermaxes are so sharp, they feel great. This razor, in my opinion, works super, super well with really sharp blades. Makes smooth blades feel too smooth, but sh really sharp blades are just perfect. Tames them really well. 
and with the white. Definitely a daily bull razor. If you've got enough muscle in your arms, I don't think Chris would be able to deal with this one. It's a little bit too heavy for him. Really, really nice. Bring these up a little bit. Cool. Left hand. I really like it that I've gotten into that habit of being able to use both hands. Awesome. I thought this razor was going to be much more aggressive than it actually is. It's very dalyable. Which obviously is more up my alley. Since I pretty much shave every day. But if you shave every couple of days, this thing would still absolutely smash it for you because of the weight absolutely just topples anything. That is pretty much everything, I reckon. That felt absolutely awesome. The scent is gorgeous on this too. It's very sweet. I'd call it a sweet, but still slightly masculine cologne with, with that tobacco. But oud's very sweet. I really like. Suck all the leather out. Still heaps left. Definitely enough for a third. Twenty-eight mil Timberwolf knot feels absolutely awesome. If you like tuxedos, you'll like this. Feels pretty much the same in my opinion. Slightly softer tips in comparison to some of the others I've got. Good feeling shave though. Yeah, really good. Alright, done water, warm water rinse, now cold water. Very, very nice. No cuts on my face, so no need to use the alum. I'm gonna go straight to this. Maybe in a little bit. Let's hope I don't have a reaction. Fingers crossed. Very little, actually. Wow. That smells awesome. That's really nice, actually. Almost, almost smells like some sort of fruit in there. I'm not sure what it could be. That feels really nice. I'm gonna wait though because I may get reaction. That's what happened last time. It just kept getting warmer and warmer. Could be the alum as well. There is an alum in the splashes, which I don't think is normally in many that I use. So that could be that could be it. Yeah, I'm starting to get the same. It's not as intense as um, the Big Shave East though. So, 
be wary of the splashes because I'm not, I don't react to many splashes at all. Um, I've reacted to Tallow and Steel and I've reacted to a Big Shave East. And this one doesn't actually feel too bad. It could be that um, I could just be a little wuss. Who knows? <laughs> you should. What? You should. I'm watching a cat video. Okay, you're watching a cat video. Girlfriend's just... Just uh, sitting in the toilet. In the toilet? In the bath. In the bath. Brain's not working. Gonna have a nice little relaxing today, I reckon. Yeah. Anyway, that was a shave. Felt really, really good. Synergy soaps. I would recommend it. Um, if you're stoked with PAA performance, pick one up. Feels absolutely awesome. Or Crown King, because I'm pretty sure they use actually the Crown King formula in this, I think. Could be the Crown King formula. Um, oh, yeah. Crown King high butter formula. So, really, really nice. It's good stuff. Uh, the cube. Hit or miss, it's just up to you. If you're a pre-shave routine guy, that could be for you. I just find it pretty good as, you know, to wash out wash out your hairs. Could be good as a beard soap, that sort of stuff. I think it is the alum now. Yeah, that's what I think it is. It's not heating up too much. But that Big Shave East, that, yeah, that gave me quite, quite a heat. Um, but yeah, oh, this thing feels awesome too. Supermax and a Home Type 15. Match made in heaven, that feels absolutely awesome. You guys take care, stay safe, stay positive. Catch you guys in the next video. Take care.